Bischofsreuth, a tranquil corner in Germany's Bavarian forest. But it's not nature's song that sparked interest here. Rather, it's atomic tests. As unlikely as it sounds, scattered amongst the trees are hidden bomb detectors. They're listening for nuclear noise, ready to record the slightest sign of an explosion. This is one of 26 volts dug into the forest. It was used during the Cold War to monitor nuclear testing in the Soviet Union. Today it's part of the international monitoring system of the treaty that bans all nuclear explosions. Every earthquake or explosion generates uh, waves traveled through the crust and the, uh, around the world and we can record such waves with uh, a seismometer like this one. Think of it like throwing a pebble into water. The waves ripple through the Earth's crust. The vibrations can travel for thousands of kilometers. Nuclear explosions have a distinctive wave pattern, which the seismometers suck up and record. 2006 and 2009, we detected two nuclear tests done by North Korea. And there are as far as 8,000 kilometers but these stations are so sensitive that we get very good seismograms which identified these tests as real nuclear explosions and for us became clear that these were not earthquake. What made the Germans' findings significant is that they're not alone. The station is part of a network of 337 facilities being built across the globe to alert the world to any nuclear blast. It's not coming from one source, it's coming from dozens of, of countries. So this type of information cannot be challenged because it's an all-inclusive data gathering, all-inclusive data processing and all-inclusive data distribution. It's this hard science that can pinpoint when and where an atomic explosion has occurred data from infrasound and from seismic stations and they come in over fiber optic cables were converted here in electrical signals and sent to our central computer and there we will uh, put the data to Vienna over a satellite link and in parallel to Hanover over a leased line. And it takes just seconds. Some 250 stations send data in near real time to the Vienna headquarters of the CTBTO. It's the independent world body to observe possible breaches to the treaty. It watches the globe for signs of a nuclear blast anywhere by anyone. This room is the first point of entry for anything technical in this organization. So it's the first point, the first call that our station operators are NDC for any issue that they're dealing with, with regard to operating and maintaining the system. That's where they come in and then to talk about the problem that they're facing on a daily basis. And not only this, we monitor everything that's happening in the field with regard to our monitoring facilities. So it's basically the center where we check the health of the system. Data streams in around the clock, including from field stations that use high-tech tools to measure low-frequency sounds on land and sea and radioactive particles in the air. It's a powerful combination that enables analysts to fingerprint an atomic explosion. The global data is analysed and both the raw and processed information fed to member countries. It's a billion dollar network and this quiet corner in Germany is an important part of the cog, poised to sound the alarm on any nuclear blast.